Hello, thank you for watching. This is Jesse Seal with the sketchbookartist.com and today I want to show you my first speed drawing video of a portrait that I drew of Gerard Butler from the movie 300. And first off, I want to say I know that most speed drawing videos on YouTube have music in the background and I thought I would offer something a little different and do a commentary instead kind of go over some of the techniques I used to make this drawing and if you have any questions at the end feel free to comment and ask and I will do my best to answer them to begin I started with a 4H pencil and did my outline on a a grid and it was actually one of the first times using a grid and I I think I like it. I like it a lot, actually. It helps with checking proportions and relationships between the different features on the face. and You don't have to do a lot of manual checking. It's all just right there for you to, to quickly look at and reference. And one principle that's very important in shading after you do your outline, you always want to start with the lightest value first and darken it. It's very easy to do that compared to trying to erase very dark graphite that's been embedded into the paper. I know this from experience. So right here is about two hours worth of work. Not a whole lot done. I changed the cam camera angle. I wasn't too satisfied with the first angle and there's actually going to be another switch here towards the end and I want to know which one you guys like best. But let me know because I'm going to do some more of these speed drawings and I want them to be as watchable as possible. One thing I did with this drawing that differs from the past, my past drawings is that I used cross-hatching as my main form of shading. Usually I depend a lot on the blending stump, which is quick and easy, but if that's all you do to shade, then I found it's very unreliable and inaccurate, and I'm usually unsatisfied with, with that technique. So this time I used the cross-hatching, and it turned out pretty good. Um, there was a few areas I wish I had tightened up and spent a little bit more time on, but you know that's just the thing. Can't go back now. And that's another important concept that I'd like to get across is that time is very important, and it doesn't make you a good artist to complete a drawing in a short amount of time. If you take your time and you really appreciate and add the detail, you'll be more satisfied and your your drawing will actually be a lot better. Always been in a hurry to finish my drawings. I don't know why. I guess I'm just impatient, but one reason I chose this drawing was because I actually drew this same image when I was 17, that was four years ago, and I'll include that at the end of the video to kind of show you a before and after, how far I've come in, in learning how to draw. I'm still not where I want to be, but I, I think that every artist always looks to improve somewhere. We're always our harshest critics. We always know where all the flaws lie in our, our pieces. Most people don't notice, though. Another reason I chose this drawing, I thought it would be easy, because there was so much black, and I thought the helmet would be fun to draw with all the little 
details and everything and it sure did present a challenge so maybe someday I'll be able to do this picture again and see how my technique has changed to overcome that because I pretty much just developed a technique on the fly to to get these indentions in on the helmet and it's basically just squiggly lines very small squiggly lines that I drew to get that effect I want to know if, what you think is, is it effective did it, did it come out good or I personally think it's a bit dark those indentions but I don't know we're almost done here I didn't get to really cover a whole lot I don't really know what you want to know so comment ask questions leave suggestions and on my next speed drawing which I'll do one every week or at least try to do one every week I'll answer as many questions as possible